7 a.m., 7.30, and we are about to shoot a nice video in the streets of Istanbul. And we're gonna wear some uh, street clothes. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> First video day. Well, for starters, they got gamers. Gamers waking up at 6.30 a.m. None of us are built for this shit. Looking all right, everyone just come outside for fresh air. You're basically, we're just tired as fuck, right? Yeah. That's, that's the gist. Super lovely day. Um, uh, the plan for today is first go to wardrobe. We're gonna get some new clothes on, looking suave and sexy with an S E K S I. Do you want to know what Enzo said to them when he got there? <laughs> what, the did he say? what did they say? Um, I'm French, so if you want to play with that, you can. Okay, of course I said that. And what did they say there? We don't have a beret. <laughs> That's what they said. Oh, there we go then. It was like a Hollywood stage. Like all the, the cameras, the lightnings, everything and outside with like all the security around the area we are, we are shooting and they told us everything that we have to do. We were like actors and there was like people around us and stuff. I don't know. It's all weird because I don't usually uh, wear like oversized shirts and then a bucket hat. I don't think I ever wore one before that, but you know, I was like, oh, fine, I'll, I'll just do it. It's just for a video and gonna be used for a couple of seconds. So it might look cool, might not. If not, I'll just meme it. <laughs> it I look dark and he seems like not Finnish guy. He's like Mexica guy. It is good, but I guess blonde dark is better. I say it to him. It's the first time that we do it outside and people can actually come and be like, whoa, what are they doing? Are they shooting a movie here, you know? And yeah, we're actually shooting a movie because people are running down the street and we have boaster with uh, the shopping bags and stuff and like, it's, it's really fun. Uh, I'm not very confident in my acting skills, so... I don't know, I just feel like I don't uh, do the lines very well. It's just my head. It's got no confidence in my acting. I'm sitting there and some, like, over shirt like like 30 degrees and I'm actually just boiling like the aircon in the van wasn't even good enough to even like stop me from sweating so I'm just dead dying. You're just gonna have your head kind of straight and on action very slowly you lift it up you're looking at this giant monolith in the sky okay. everyone's afraid of it but you're like ready to confront it. Okay. It's like cool tough yeah. Go! 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 I saw Enzo with glasses and I laugh 30 minutes because it's good. It's not funny, it's like handsome, but it's funny for me. <laughs> An alpha with a t-shirt four times his size. And yeah, somehow they gave me nice sunglasses too. So, I mean, we were all looking good. Everyone in the team is looking good anyway. So <laughs> yeah, I think I, li I liked Enzo's fit a lot. And then Dirk obviously dripped out the bucket hat. It's just cool seeing people like uh, in, in this sort of element kind of thing. Obviously having a character like Bosa really, I, I guess, gives people confidence into just, you know, letting it loose, being fun, which is, which is nice to see. So tell me <laughs> how practice has been going. Yeah, practice is going well right now. Practice has been going pretty well. Uh, in this hotel. I think the team is just more in the zone now and more familiar with the surroundings and obviously like the place where we're practicing and where we're staying at right now is is obviously really good for us. Yeah routine has been like breakfast, a little bit of individual review after breakfast and then practice starts we do a lot of strat time then we have some games and then after all of that we just review what we did during the game. We're going to the gym and my mental is going to be strong because I'm going to the gym and I'm eating healthy food. Yeah, I'm feeling super refreshed and super excited for the games. I think this is like one of the tournaments we've been doing a lot of preparations like inside the server and outside. So I'm really excited and I think everyone is just having a lot of energy and like we get the energy from each other too in the game. 
So I've been doing this thing where I wake up and do like some 10 minutes of mindfulness with our performance coach Marcus. It's, uh, it's been nice to like calm me down, you know, set me up for the day, get me in the right mindset. And yeah, we just play the full day of practice as usual, working hard. We're eating good and then we're going to the gym sometimes. I had the massage the other day with Durka, uh, best thing ever, but then I had to play some scrims after, so I was just basically sleeping. I just wanted to help back in that jacuzzi <laughs> just for the rest of the day. Marcus is super helpful for like multiple things. Uh, one is like the discipline. I, I imagine some of the discipline would have been lost had he not been here with the food, uh, the kind of exercise and whatnot, he's kind of making sure people are going to the gym and whatnot, because it is super healthy. Uh, it's super important, I think, uh, just making sure that you have that downtime to chill and like focus on something that isn't the game. So a super impactful in that sense. And then obviously before games, whenever you're on the bus or whenever the day before, like even uh, in the morning, you have this kind of energy around you and it's like a little bit of nervousness in your stomach. And I think we just need to release some energy now. So I'm just gonna ask you, Jake, are you ready to go out and, and play your heart out? Yes, sir. <laughs> I can't hear you. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. What about you, James? Are you ready? <laughs> I just said. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> you can do it louder. You're a big boy. Come on. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Fuck yeah, yeah. Loud, my yes, boy. sir. <laughs> louder. Come on. I can't do it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Come Vamos. Yes. Let's do this. Mini. I come on. <laughs> come on, Mini. Release the energy. Come on. Come on. Release the energy. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Vamos. Come on. Vamos! Yes! <laughs> Enzo! Yeah, boy! Yeah. Okay. I can't. I can. You yes, can. come yeah, on. We're safe. Turkish. How do you say go yeah, on so Turkish? Let's Turkish. go on Turkish. Okay. Good yeah. What? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. He win. did it. Okay. And now me. What? Come on, boys! Oh my okay? goodness. Release <laughs> Andy. We got this, okay? Three, two, one. Hey, Sometimes I'm playing less, but also doing something to work on myself, like gym or just like uh, starting eating more healthy. And then like it all helps in the game too, because like uh, the healthier you eat, the better you play in the game too. Like it's already proven. So also it gives me like more positive energy to the practice. So like it doesn't feel like I'm burning out. We've been doing some changes on the most of the maps like in terms of comps and setups and and plays that we can do together. So it took some time to get used to it, especially on a new map like Pearl. I, I have my own playground like I do on Icebox again, like the v long and even on A, so I can play a lot more op, uh, I like that. I think Pearl is a, a nice new map with a very specific mid triangle that you really have to understand to play the map well. I think the way that we approach the game is we're quite creative minded and especially like with Boaster and Mini working together and our new analysts, uh, SLK, and come up with uh, some things pretty fast, some cool things. So I think we've generally got the map down. The chamber nerf, I think, even though it a bit nerfed me or how I used to play, I still think I can adapt to it. But I also think it favors us because we had problems against chambers in some like games at the tournaments. I think uh, they destroyed my Sova, unlucky. <laughs> and I think Chamber, we are not quite there yet. I think the changes on Chamber were not the right changes. But you know. My champions changed. I'm playing Neon right now. And I'm playing Neon on Breeze. And it is good because I didn't expect uh, before the tournament. And I'm playing Neon on Breeze. It's uh, good. <laughs> There was a stage, I think, I believe it was at the MGX studio. There was a stage with like a kind of alien spaceship that you can stand on. Some sort of alien <laughs> dystopian planet over here. But it looks not bad, it's got trees at least. So... Yeah, I think it's Earth. That's Earth? So as you can see, Durko is currently on set. He is um, getting ready to do the photo shoot, uh, film shoot. Currently that bold guy, now you might be thinking bold guy, that's Durka. No, that's someone else. He's the producer, director. 
and he's telling Dirk what to do right now. And then he's gonna have to probably walk to the centre, strike a pose, knowing Durka. He'll be folding arms unless he whips out something special like he's been saving it. The head buffer. That's what I'd do. The jet knives. Give us a wave. There we go. Majestic. The venue looks nice and I'm excited for the crowd. I think I'm more excited for the crowd. Everyone is so close to us, which is good. And it's so many seats, so many people could actually be in that venue. And we have Alpha here. I, I can't imagine what's gonna happen. I just can't imagine the sound, like the, the noise that people can make. It's gonna be so hyping. Yeah, they are close, but it is good for me because they're gonna allow, like, we are in the Fnatic and I'm the Turkish player, and they're gonna allow my name, or they're gonna allow the Fnatic name, and it's gonna be hype me, and if I play 10, I'm gonna play 30 right now. I think he loves it. I mean, him being in Turkey is natural, natural habitat to him, you know. Turkish play style is rushing everywhere, no tactics, go kill, and uh, my strat is like this right now. I'm just gonna kill. We're gonna see the energy scars from here. We are eating, we are eating kebab on the morning. We waken up and we eat kebab, bro. So, <laughs> nothing for us. What do you eat here? Only kebab again. They got two in her guy. So we know that... What? It's either one bullet away from losing or zero bullets away from winning. what to do this time. We know how to win. I was in killer mode, killer instinct, I'd say. We've done all we can, and now it's just up to us to show up on the server. See you soon when we win. So stressful. It's horrible being an IDL. <laughs> and my brother was there, and I was like, I have to get a win in front of him, and also in front of the crowd. I'm not going home this early. There's nothing that I haven't seen before at this point. And I think everyone just like stepped up really on that day. I'm not going home this early. And the only thing we have to do is focus on ourselves and focus on the game. That's okay.